Hey everyone, welcome back to another Bodark vlog. In this video, we will be spending two full days in Kyoto, exploring some familiar sites such as Fushimi Inari Taisha and Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. We will also be visiting some new places such as Kiyomizudera Temple, Tenruji Temple, and Kinkakuji Temple. I hope you like cardio, because there's going to be a lot of walking. Our day in Kyoto starts off with us heading to Fushimi Inari Taisha via the Nara Line. Back in 2016 when I first went to Kyoto, Fushimi Inari Taisha was one of the first destinations I visited. The walk up was just as I remembered. Not really easy as there were a lot of steps to go up to the shrine, but accompanying those steps were the beautiful rows of tori gates that lined the pathways up. I don't think during my first time I made it up to Mount Inari, but this time me and my cousins decided to fully commit and climb up to the shrine, and climb up to Mount Inari we did. After making our way down Fushimi Inari Taisha, we head to the shopping street where we pass by street vendors selling food. I remember coming here in 2016 with my parents, eating matcha shaved ice and takoyaki. But this time, my family and I are headed to a restaurant located nearby the shopping street. This is Kendoya, a small udon shop that actually makes their own udon noodles here. The udon noodles are very chewy, fresh, and absolutely tasty. Combined with the light and savory broth, it makes for a very delicious and filling meal after walking up Fushimi in Taisha. After lunch, we take the Nara line to Tofukuji Station, where we take a bus leading us to Kiyomizudera Temple. Kiyomizudera Temple is very well known in Kyoto and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A unique feature of Kiyomizudera is its wooden stage, which fun fact was assembled without the use of a single nail. So how was it held together? Surprisingly, an interlocked system of wooden joints, which keeps the stage still standing to this day while offering some of the best views overlooking Kyoto. We eventually made our way out of the temple through a shopping street nearby. We didn't really have time to check anything out as the street was packed with people which made it a bit hectic.
Once we returned to Kyoto Station, we grabbed dinner at a conveyor belt sushi restaurant, Kanazawa Maimon. Surprisingly, the sushi was really good. The rice was well seasoned and complemented the raw fish placed snugly on top. I also enjoyed the overall atmosphere at the place. It was just a casual sushi restaurant where I can just relax and chat with my cousins while feasting out on sushi. Okay, okay, wait, 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 I can salvage this, I can salvage this, I can salvage this, I can salvage this. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start over, okay? We are back at our room, and um, the reason why we have all these desserts is because it's this guy's yes, birthday. Yes, hey. So, um, uh, yeah, now we're just like hanging out, and then probably gonna screw ourselves over with Uno again. As I mentioned in this clip, it was my cousin's birthday today, and we picked up a few desserts for him just to celebrate the occasion. It was a really great way to end an eventful day in Kyoto with some donuts, fruit, and cake as well as getting a little too competitive at Uno. Garrett! Um, and his name Garrett! is John C. Oh. <laughs> I sold, bro. I sold, I sold it. I knew when I came went. I knew, I knew. She doesn't ever do that. She only goes on. She gives you like a look. The next day, we take the sun in line all the way to Tenruji Temple. Tenruji Temple is another UNESCO World Heritage Site, revered for its gardens and architecture. The temple was built in 1339 by Shogun Ashikaga Takuji in honor of Emperor Godaigo. The temple sits right next to the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest and is one of the five major Zen temples in Kyoto. We walk around Tenruji admiring the beauty and calmness of the temple before making our way to the exit through the Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. I was also here back in 2016, enjoying the shape provided by the thick blanket of bamboo with sunlight poking through creating a bit of a tranquil feel to the forest. I still felt the same effect of the forest for a second time while walking through Arashiyama once again. Finally, we make our way out of the forest and walk along the Katsura River. We stayed there for a bit to take pictures and eventually grab lunch at Arashiyama Yoshimura, a restaurant which makes their own soba noodles. It's something we definitely needed to combat the chilly weather outside when we were at Tenruji and Arashiyama Bamboo Forest. The hot soba with its savory broth and chewy, fresh, handmade soba noodles were definitely what I needed to warm me up.
After lunch, we walk across the Togetsukyo Bridge and into town towards our last destination, Kinkakuji Temple. We take the Rondin trams and then take the 204 city bus all the way to Kinkakuji Temple. Kinkakuji Temple or the Golden Pavilion is another Zen temple in Kyoto. It is covered entirely in gold leaf and was the former residence of Shogun Ashikaga Yoshimitsu. After spending time at Kinkakuji Temple, we head back to Kyoto Station for dinner, and coincidentally, we go to another soba restaurant, Morihei. Instead of hot soba this time, I opted for the cold soba with a few pieces of conger eel tempura. The soba was decent. While it was not as fresh as Arashiyama Yoshimura's soba, it was still very delicious. I also loved the conger eel tempura. It was really crispy on the outside and tender on the inside, complemented with the dipping sauce. After dinner, me and my cousins decided to get something to satisfy our sweet tooth. We all stopped by a nearby department store where we pick up these beautiful strawberry cakes that were absolutely tasty. The cake was really light and fluffy, and the strawberry filling really complemented the cake. Definitely a great way to end an amazing day in Kyoto. Well that's all for today. Tune in next time as we take the bullet train once again to Hiroshima and another train to Nara which have destinations that are home to the wild deer population, culminating in this really funny clip. God, it won't let go! Oh my god! Uh, do I even want to try? Thank you all for watching today's video, and once again, if you have some time, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to see more amazing content. This is Bodark signing off, have a good day.